This sounds yummy. Pecan pie muffins. I can't wait to try this. Let's see if I learn it or burn it. Oven to 350. One cup packed brown sugar. In case you can't tell, I did use several different kinds of brown sugar. I was just using up the ends. A trick to keeping your brown sugar from hardening, put a splice of bread in. Then seal it up. Replace the bread about once a month and your sugar will be nice and soft. If your sugar does harden, just put it in the microwave with a glass of water and microwave for a few minutes and it'll soften. Half cup all-purpose flour. It's a bit over a cup in chopped pecans. Mix them up good. In a separate bowl, beat two eggs. Add two thirds of a cup of pre-softened butter. Beat until smooth. At this stage, it looks like cottage cheese. Very much not ready. As much as I blend it, I can't get rid of these lumps, but this is as creamy as I can get it. Like this is as smooth as I can get it. So I think this is the final product. So let's go on to the next step. Now comes the part where I put on some gloves and dive in. Now it says to add the dry ingredients and to mix. So let's get to mixing. That didn't take any time at all. And that is completely mixed. Okay, on to the next step. It says to grease your muffin tin or your silicone cups or whatever you're using. I'm going to be using little silicone cups and I'm going to grease it with some cooking spray. So all my silicone cups are going to have a squirt of cooking spray. Now I'm going to use my medium-sized cookie scoop and put one scoop of batter in each cup. If they take one scoop of batter and there's still some batter left over, then I'm going to double up and put an extra scoop in each one and make them double scooped. And then we'll see just how many scoops these cups hold. Okay, so I had enough for double scoops for eight of them, not 12 of them. These are going to taste so good. I can't wait for them to be done. Put them in for 25 to 30 minutes. Since I have smaller ones, I'm going to put in an alarm for 15 minutes and check on them then. Why not do some dishes? Dishes done, plenty of time to read. I'm gonna go grab a book. Let's take a look at the small ones. And we need two picks. Wait, they're always gonna be gooey. So I guess we're just gonna have to go by sight. They don't look done. They look like they could take some more time. So I'm gonna put them in for just a little longer. Oop, that's the problem with cups. Okay, so that was another 
seven minutes. The tops of these ones look done, so I'm gonna call it and say that they're done. What do you guys think? Done? Yeah, I think they're done. Cool on wire cookie racks. I'm not sure how you're supposed to do this if they're not in silicone cups, because they're really, really soft. Unless you're supposed to bake them so long that they're rock hard. That doesn't make any sense. So, I don't know. And I did the toothpick test now. And it's not gooey. So, apparently they do solidify. But it's not gooey now, and they're really, really soft. So, I don't know. Okay, they've had a chance to cool off. Let's try one. Okay, they're really, really soft. The tops are really crunchy. And they are so good! Remember, I did put them in for a total of 25 minutes. So, they're not done too little. They're just really, really soft. I don't know why. Maybe they're meant to be this soft. They're really, really, really good. Maybe I'll try doing them for a little longer next time. But they are really, really good. But they have to stay in the cups. I'm going to put them in for another 10 minutes. I have a sneaking suspicion they're actually underdone. Okay, going to take them out. If they're burned, they're burned. Nope, they just look even more done. So it said 25 minutes, I put them in for 35, and they just look more done. Okay, let's see what they taste like after they cool. Yeah, these are completely hard in comparison to before. Okay, the bottoms are still a little moist. As you can see, I should not take them out of the cup, so, okay, they're a lot crunchier. So still, I would put them in for longer, but I'm done. So that is my review. The recipe does not say to put them in for nearly long enough, but they are very, very, very good.